The combination of Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard was the lifeblood of the Philadelphia Eagles in the 2019 season. Together, they combined for 146 receptions, 1,500 yards, 11 touchdowns, and averaged 10.5 yards per reception. Defensive backs aren't physical enough to stay with them in coverage, they present a mismatch in the run game, and both are deadly on play action. A lot of the time, the Eagles put them both next to each other on the same side of the formation, which forced defenses to declare how they'd cover them. If you want to put two smaller defensive back types over there, they'll run strong right at their tight ends. If you want to stack up defensive ends and linebackers on them, then they'll just run weak away. Numerous times, Dallas Goddard was able to handle the likes of Jadavion Clowney and Demarcus Lawrence one-on-one -on -one in both the run game and in pass protection. The Eagles have something really special in Goddard, and while both tight ends can struggle to create separation at times, their physicality, strong hands, and ability to block made the Eagles' offense go. It all starts in the run game. Both Ertz and Goddard's ability to block set up big plays and play action and screens. They're legitimate threats blocking and defenses have to respect their ability to do so. Here, Goddard is one-on-one -on -one in pass protection against Demarcus Lawrence, the Cowboys' best pass rusher. He washes him down into the interior, moves his feet, and stays engaged, showing really good technique. Goddard also washed down on Jadavion Clowney multiple times and took him completely out of plays. Now if you put a safety over him like the Seahawks did in the run game, he'll just drive him to the sideline. He churns his feet, maintains leverage, and uses his arm length to wash number 30 Bradley McDougal all the way to the sideline and open up a hole for Boston Scott. When the Eagles run a heavy set with both tight ends on the same side, it can be tough for defenses to match up. Ertz drives out number 30, the strong safety, and Goddard climbs to number 50, KJ Wright. Both create drive and are able to wall off their defenders, opening up lanes in the run game. Since Ertz and Goddard are both active blockers, it gives the Eagles a lot of power in play action. You can watch here as all the linebackers come up on the run fake and give Goddard a ton of space behind them. Goddard's crosser exploits the aggressive linebackers, and since Ertz is doing a delayed release on the other side, that keeps the flat defender or the strong safety down and low, which opens up space behind them for Goddard on the crosser. And none of this would be possible without the run fake and the effectiveness of Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard in the run game. If Wentz can do a little bit better job getting his hips around and putting some air under the ball, it's a perfectly designed play for cover three. Here's another example of play action with Ertz and Goddard, this time when they're both on the same side. The Eagles have been gashing them out of this formation in the run game all day, and here the defenders fly up to stop it. Ertz sifts right through and is open deep on a corner route while Goddard ends up getting the check down in the flats. Ertz does a great job of releasing inside like he's trying to pin a linebacker or get an angle on a block which sells to the defense that it's a run. Since the Eagles often leave Goddard in on pass protection and even let him go one-on-one -on -one against elite pass rushers, now they can also screen to him out of those situations. Here Goddard pass sets just like he normally does before leaking out on a screen. While he isn't thought of as being particularly athletic or a run after the catch guy, he looks pretty agile in the screen game. So they block, play action, and screen well. Let's take a look at their actual route running. Goddard might be viewed as more of a generalist and is easily the better blocker, but his route running technique and ball skills are quickly catching up to that of Ertz. Unsurprisingly, Ertz is more polished at this point in his career. He uses good hand fighting through his routes, physical running, and can create separation at the top with leaning and using a chicken wing motion with his arm instead of full extension that would result in offensive pass interference. Here, Ertz does a good job of all three. He constantly removes the hand of the defender, gets in close, leans, and extends to create some separation at the top of the route. He's not going to run away from anyone, so he has to be super technical in his route technique. Again here, he does a really good job with his hand fighting and eating up space until he's stepping on the defender's toes before snapping his route off. Without being able to get his hands on him and allowing cushion to be closed, the defender has no chance in sticking with him and preventing the reception. While he does sometimes seek out contact unnecessarily, which slows down his routes and can cause him to be unable to create separation against stronger defenders, sometimes he can just absolutely bully guys and run right into them and they'll bounce right off. Whether it's a linebacker, safety, or a corner, Ertz presents a matchup problem. Here he is one-on-one -on -one with a corner and easily beats him on a slant without even using his physicality. As mentioned before, Goddard might not be quite as polished of a route runner, but his hands are just as good if not better than Ertz's. He'll high point the ball, isn't scared of contact, and has great eye discipline. As the season progressed, his routes became more nuanced, with more leaning and exploding off of cuts, which helped him to create separation. However, like Ertz, he also creates unnecessary contact at times and doesn't take advantage of his frame and leverage to create separation, and instead just tries to overpower the defender. That being said, same deal with Ertz. 
Sometimes his length is just so much greater than that of the defender, it doesn't even matter and he can still make the catch. Together, Ertz and Goddard create issues for defenses. Both have the ability to attack the ball in the air, have surprising athleticism, and are more than capable blockers. The Eagles love to use 12 personnel and attack defenses with their two tight end sets. They mirror Ertz and Goddard off of each other with high-low concepts, kill teams with screens that really stretch defenses, use them with effectiveness in the run game, and scheme them open in play action. While they've been specializing in different ways, Ertz in the passing game and Goddard as a blocker, Goddard has begun to encroach on the targets and snaps that Ertz typically gets. Goddard adds a little bit more flexibility in the formations, packages, and plays that the Eagles can call. If you're looking for a future superstar, hop on the Dallas Goddard train right now. If the Eagles get a weapon or two outside at receiver like Jalen Rager in the 2020 draft, this tight end pair and offense could be unstoppable with a rising star in Miles Sanders and a franchise quarterback in Carson Wentz. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. It helps us out tremendously. Comment below who you'd like me to analyze next, and make sure to check out our website, weeklyspiral.com, where you can read all our latest content, including a written form of this video with GIFs. You can also find our Patreon and social handles and all that stuff there as well. Until next time, I'm Casey Sully, and I'll see you on the next Film Breakdown.